What up all is? In no particular order, here are five cool and unusual punk rock records you might have missed. Check them out. These are wicked cool records to add to your collection, man. Punk and Dub. This unusual mashup record isn't actually a mashup record at all. It's actual original vocals from classic punk singles melded with custom reggae tracks played by American reggae band Crazy Ballhead. The tracks are then dubbed out to full effect. It's just as sick as you might think. Hearing the original vocals ringing out over a heavy reggae rhythm is pretty intense. Songs that get the treatment are Astro Zombies by The Misfits, Blitzkrieg Bop by The Ramones, The Passenger by Iggy Pop, Holiday in Cambodia by The Dead Kennedys, London Calling by The Clash, and Pretty Vacant by The Sex Pistols. I bought my copy directly from Jump Up Records, and they included a bonus 7-inch record, which according to Discogs includes Astro Zombies and London Dubbing. These titles are slightly different from those on the 12-inch LP, but the songs seem to be the same on both records. If this sounds interesting to you, get it. You'll love it. It's unlikely to be repressed, and sometimes these things get banned from sale on eBay and Discogs. Eat Your Paisley is the Dead Milkman's sophomore effort, but it's not sophomoric. Produced by John Wicks, Dave Reckner, and the band, Eat Your Paisley is, dare I say it, a more serious Dead Milkman album. All right, maybe it's not really serious. We still have classics like The Thing That Only Eats Hippies, Beach Party Vietnam, and Air Crash Museum. But the rest of the 15 songs, even when goofy or absurd, have a thread of deeper, authentic meaning or emotion running through them. It's all enhanced by the awesome surfing guitar work and heartfelt vocals of Joe Jack Dalcom, the bouncy punk rhythm section of Dave Blood and Dean Clean, and I personally think here, poet emeritus Rodney Anonymous is at his best. I Hear Your Name, 50 and Happy Is, a poignant punk that touches your heart without hesitation. KK Suck 2 is their best, coolest instrumental, Think Kids in the Hall. And Swamp Land of Desire is Mrs. Ball's favorite Dead Milkman song. That one bridges honest feeling with goofy metaphors, and that's when the Dead Milkmen are at their best. It's kind of hard to find this record sometimes, but I recommend tracking it down. It sounds like skateboarding in 1986 felt. Schlong, The Singles. All right, we could have suggested the Fleetwood Mac cover album, Tumors. That cover alone would have made it worthwhile, and it's a great collection of tracks. But when it comes to sheer enjoyment of listening, I have to go with the sublime Disc of Carpenter covers that Schlong did. This 2007 collection consists entirely of punk rock covers of songs made popular by 70s sunshine rock band, The Carpenters. It mirrors their singles collection. The drunken, lightning-fast approach of Schlong, combined with their obvious respect and affection for the source material, makes this record an amazing and fun punk romp. Click the link above my ball for our full interview with Schlong. The Ramones' Pleasant Dreams. Recording this record sounds like it was a nightmare, and it's astonishing that Pleasant Dreams even got made, let alone was a good album. The band was split on a direction, Johnny wanted to rock harder, and Joey was leaning more into pop music. The Ramones wanted Steve Lillywhite to produce their sixth studio album, but Sire Records chose Graham Gouldman from soft rock band 10CC to produce instead. Joey Ramone and Johnny Ramone were at each other's throats because Johnny had started to date Joey's former girlfriend. Dee Dee Ramone's drug addiction and Marky and Joey's growing drinking problems were driving Johnny Ramone nuts. So not surprisingly, this was the first time on a Ramones album that each song is credited to an individual member rather than multiple members. Despite all this conflict, the album freaking rocks. Even if the guitars sound slightly castrated, Joey's voice is rich and velvety, and the anthemic sound of some of these tracks like Not My Place in the 9 to 5 world and The KK Took My Baby Away, it, I mean, they, they just really take your breath away. The Cramps, Blues Fix. This odd little 10-inch record is my favorite Cramp CP. It's graced with a gorgeous boudoir-style photo of Poison Ivy on the cover. Four straight blues cover songs featuring slow screaming guitar blues, jelly rolls, and all the requisite sexy craziness of the Cramps. My absolute favorite, Shambhala, is a cover of a song by Sheriff and the Ravels from 1954. Lux Interior informs us he'd rather be a bear and says the word chicken 18 times. If you dug this video, check out this other one where I rank the replacements records from worst to best. And please consider subscribing, man. When I get to 1000, I'm going to do a face reveal and show everybody how the program is made. Rock on.